Welcome to e know -how. In this video, we would look at uh, a CMOS NOR gate, how it is constructed using PMOS and NMOS transistors, its digital operation, and also the sizing of the transistors in the NOR gate. So a NOR gate symbolically is represented like this. It's a NOR gate. Usually it could have two or more inputs say for example a two input NOR gate it's two inputs A and B and Y and say for example a four input NOR gate could have A, B, C, D as inputs four digital inputs and one output Y A, B, C and D now let's look at the two input NOR gate and write, write the truth table for this so you'll have A and B and Y for the four different combinations of A and B and the Y would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and we will write what the Y is and the NOR gate is actually the basic gate from which an OR gate is constructed so OR gate is the invert of an OR gate which is which says OR gate is like if any one of the input is high the output would be high and if both inputs are low the output would be low so for if you go look at the, the the NOR gate it would be the opposite so when any of the inputs is high the output would be zero and if both inputs are low then the output would be high or VDD so the NOR gate that we are looking at is this, basically this table here. Now how is it implemented using CMOS transistors is what we want to see now. So now let's look at how it is built using CMOS devices. In a NOR gate there are two PMOS transistors connected in series. and for the analog point of view the bulks are connected to VDD or the supply along with the source of one of the device then you have two NMOS devices connected in series and their sources are connected to ground their bulks are grounded substrate so now this is one of the input and this is the other input so we call this input A input B and the output is taken here Y and now we call this MPB the transistor MPA the P channel related to the A input and this is M and B and M and A. Now let's look at how it operates and see um, uh, for say let's look at the first condition when both the inputs are at ground when A and B both are at ground so both the P channel devices MPB and M and MP a or both are on the reason is VSG for the P channel devices A and B is equal to VDD which means they're on so when both are on so you have the output is shorted to VDD here so that's what you get here but now let's look at when any of the input is high when either A or B is high, one of these two PMOS devices is off. So you have no path between VDD. The path between VDD and uh, VDD and the output is cut off. There is no path between VDD and the output if one of the devices is off. So in all the other cases, in all these cases, your output is not VDD 
but now how is it ground that's what we're going to look at so if any one of the inputs is at VDD so any one of the inputs is at VDD so what happens is one of the uh, end channel devices so then for one of the end channel devices so VGS N so A or B or both or both would be VDD so that means which is greater than the threshold voltage of the NMOS so MNA or MNB one of this is on which will short the output to ground so that's how we get this truth table now let's look at the device sizes here so in an inverter we said there is a PMOS and an NMOS and the length is say for example this is a 120 nanometer technology so all the lengths are 120 nanometers in a digital library so let's look at an inverter you said for an inverter the the P channel width is WPI inverter and the N channel width is WN inverter we looked at it usually saying that WP is greater than WN because of the mobility you can look at the other videos so now for for the NAND gate if you look at it sorry about this so for the NAND gate there are two P channels in series the MPB and MPA are in series so what happens is WP of the NOR gate WP of the NOR gate will be twice the WP of the inverter for the same sized gate whereas if you look at the N channel side there is only one N channel between the output and the ground so WN of a NOR gate will be the same as the WN in an inverter for the same sized gate that's how they are sized